Hey guys, Ant here for Games to Find and in this video I'll be teaching you how to make a tennis ball. So let's get started. So first thing we want to do is just create a box. I've got it in perspective mode. Uh, we want, we'll just make it 60 by 60 by 60 and we're just going to change the colour here because it's a bit bright. Yeah, this will do. And then we want we want to make two length, width and height segments so it looks like this. Okay, next thing, we want to come to the modify panel, scroll down the modify list and find Spherify. Here it is. Okay, once that's done we'll get this. And we want to just right click this and convert to editable poly. Okay, then go into vertex mode. Select these two polygons so these two vertex here and we want to scale them in on the x axis okay we want to look in the bottom on the near the bottom of the screen until we get to about 60 so we'll do and then we want to go to the opposite side so this side here select the top and the bottom vertex vertices and scale this on the Z axis down to 60 again here we go then what you want to do after is just come into edge mode and what we want to do is create the first seam so we select go around to this side here we go just select this edge and this edge and we just want to keep going all the way around the top and bottom until we get to these edges. So, to, we, what, what we want to do is just create a C shape. Okay, so we'll just go through that now. I'll just fast forward this. No, fact, I won't. I'll do it in case you. I'll do it normal speed in case you miss anything. Here we go these last two edges to do there we go that's all of them selected now at this stage uh, you're probably wondering how this is going to turn into a tennis ball because I know I was and it's not really that hard as you're about to find out so once that's done we want to come to sh the chamfer settings just have a chamfer of one and then we want to click the apply and continue button in the middle and change this down from 1 to about 0 0.25 then press OK ok now once we've done that what we want to do is come to the modify list again and select turbo smooth somewhere here it is and give it an iteration of 2 ok once we've done that we want to search for Spherify again and add another one of them now as you can see it actually looks like a tennis ball which is much much better so we'll just collapse that and what I'm going to do now is just convert this to an editable poly again come into edge mode by pressing number 2 or collapse down this and click edge ok so now I want to zoom right in and select these edges right here One, two, three these seven edges here and then click loop so it selects all the way around and then we want to convert these from edges to polygons so we hold down control and click polygon to have this, these polygons selected ok so once, that done, once that's done I want to come into bevel and change this from group to local group to local normal like this and change the height from 10 to minus 0 0.25 and change the outline to minus 0.25 as well and then just press the tick there we go that's created the inlay part the white part for it Okay, so once that's done, we want to just open the material editor. And before I 
go through this again. What I've done is done this in V-Ray, in, uh, yeah, changed the renderer to V-Ray because I've got a little studio set up which is hidden at the minute. So I'm going to just do a nice render in that after. If you want to know how to, if you want to do the same thing, you just come into render setup, press F10. Come all the way down in the comment tab to the bottom, sign renderer click the choose renderer dialog box and yours should say default scanline renderer by default and then you just select V-Ray ADV2 ok so that's how you do that ok so now we want to just change from standard to V-Ray material so just come down to V-Ray and then V-Ray MTL just drag that across to make a copy and the first one we're going to rename to green and the second one we're going to rename to white ok so we want to change the colour we want to make this sort of a yellowy green colour like this, this will do, it's a nice colour and then the second one the white, change the diffuse down to we don't want it pure white, we want it just off white so 235 and the red, green and blue values Let's press ok and then we want to drag the white onto the selected polygons and this will turn all of these a different colour so we want to invert the selection so you hold control press I this brings up this and then change the colour to green just drag the green colour on there we go that's the tennis ball coloured so now what we want to do is just add a bit of texture so if we scroll down to maps, click bump map and then come down to noise in the standard maps then we want to change it from regular to fractal and from 25 to about 0.3 in my case yours might be different just experiment and just see which ones you prefer this is what mine looks like and that's not great you can see the details barely there we'll just cross this off and then what we'll do is just to if you zoom in here you can see it's a bit it's not very smooth so we'll just add another turbo smooth to this that's the wrong thing turbo smooth there we go we we'll change this to two ok this is a bit over overkill for turbo smooth but no want to get it looking nice and smooth ok so that's it that is basically it I'm just going to unhide my lighting studio yep want to just press yes to that and delete that don't know why that's in there just delete that anyway and then we'll just shift F to bring up the safe show frame or save frame can't remember. There we go. Uh, we'll just change the pivot point to the middle, and then just rotate this a bit. We'll just slap this will do. So you can see it's tennis ball. And then we'll give this a render, and I will just skip this till it's fully rendered. Okay, so there we go. It's fully rendered. As you can see, there's a bit of texture there zoom in uh, just remembered I didn't put this to the ground plane so that's why it doesn't look like it's on the floor but you know that that's not really that important uh, this white bit here it could be a bit wider but it's nothing important that's personal preference really if you just want to make that bit wider then just you know play around with the options and see what you can get Ok so that's it for this video, if you did like please give a thumbs up, comment, if you've got any questions just leave a question and we'll, we'll try and answer it. And that's it, until next time, thanks for watching.